My name is Marnie Goldman. Um, I'm a biobehavioral health major. I'm from Oceanside, New York, and I'm dancing for Sigma Delta Ta and Kappa Delta Rho. I joined SDT when I was a freshman and immediately got involved through candy weekends, fundraisers, and never really knew much about it until I actually stepped foot into the BJC Thon weekend and all those feelings and emotions that everyone said I would feel, I felt. And it was just an incredible feeling that I knew I needed to be part of this part of this cause. And just from then, that just motivated me and wanted me to get involved through everything. Um, and then after Thon Weekend ended, I realized that I wanted to do more. So I started working at Sunrise Day Camp um, in New York, my home area. It's the only camp in the country for kids with cancer and their siblings. And it's just an incredible experience that I'm so grateful I have every summer. And then from there, just my experiences moraling my kids to enjoy their days made me want to become part of THON in a different way outside my organization. And that was when I joined uh, Dancer Relations my junior year. And that just gave me the chance to get involved in THON in a different way. And I'm very fortunate to have had that opportunity. Fortunately, I never had someone close to me pass away from cancer. So I never had that personal connection towards, you know, this cause. And then um, introducing myself to Sunrise, the atmosphere it creates for these children is so alike from the BJC. Like it's, it's just that same feelings you get when you walk into the BJC, I feel when I step onto those campgrounds. Um, my first summer there, I had 15 year old girls and they were just the most fun-loving, high-spirited girls that I've ever met. And I guess when I try to explain to people how I do what I do, I just, I feel like they're just normal kids. They're just trying to get their childhood back. Half my girls aren't even sick. They're siblings of kids with, you know, their siblings have it and it gives them a chance to just be normal. And whether it was holding my camper's wig while she had to change for swim or taking an hour long bus ride with my campers after like a tiring day, I just never regret not doing it. And it's been able to give me a little bit of that personal connection that some people have that I never had. And I just think seeing those girls' smiles and just memories that I have with them is a huge part that's gonna motivate me during Thon Weekend. In a way, Thon kind of uh, showed me where I want to go in my future. I have just felt such a passion towards Thon that I've now decided to pursue a career helping kids with cancer. And it really just, coming to Penn State, I never knew what I wanted to do. And it just means so much to me. And now it's given me a chance to, after I graduate, go somewhere with it. And I'm just really thankful to have had that. The Ferns, we've been with them since um, before my freshman year, but when coming into SDT, they introduced us to Morgan, who is the cutest girl. Um, I absolutely love her. Clint, their dad, is the most like fun-loving, high-spirited man that I've ever met. Um, being with Morgan at just the different events we hold, like at KDR and just different things throughout the year, just gives us a chance to remember why we're doing what we're doing. Um, actually, this past uh, couple weeks ago, we had a barbecue at KDR with our Thon family and um, the Ferns came up and Morgan did uh, a little karaoke for us and I guess just haven't seen her like in a while because of the summer and everything. Um, just her being able to be comfortable and perform in front of us was incredible and it was the most amazing experience and I was so happy that I was there for that. Um, and we actually just got another family. We haven't met Brandon yet but we've heard so much about him and we're really excited to meet him hopefully soon. So when I was on morale, I had an incredible dancer, Shane, who uh, just made my job really easy. Like he was fun loving, high spirited the whole time, wanted to soak up everything about Thon and just made it really easy for me, being that it was my first time on morale. And um, I think it was one of my last shifts when he was really starting to struggle. And for him to be able to open up to me and for him to actually tell me what he needed from me and supporting him, I think that was the moment I realized that I really did want to dance. And I think that showed just everything I worked for that entire year, being part of a committee and him opening up to me and really needing me at that moment was an incredible experience for me. I think it's more mental. I mean, I'm always like working out and trying to stay healthy and everything, but 
I think just day by day it keeps hitting me that it's getting closer and closer and I'm just having trying to have like the right mentality and surrounding myself by the right people and you know me Danielle Carly Shelley and we're all just trying to motivate each other to get to that weekend and hopefully do the best that we can. Being able to be at THON the entire time, um, freshman year, sophomore year, being in the stands was one thing, and then being on the floor every time I had to leave when I was done with my shift is kind of disappointing. Um, so I'm really just excited to be at THON the entire 46 hours and get to soak up everything about it. I guess not disappointing everyone, because I've just worked so extremely hard to prove to my organization that I deserve this spot, and now actually receiving it, I don't want to let any of them down, and I want to just do the best that I can to make them proud. Freshman year, um, Courtney O'Brien was my pledge sister. We had three incredible months together, and she really brought our pledge class together as a whole. And then, the, um, I believe it was the third canning weekend, December 2nd, 2011, um, when she did get into the car accident and passed away, I think it was just something I had never experienced before and it's obviously something that my punch class feels so strongly about and it's something that keeps us together. But um, a thing that we took from it was it's just kind of what fuels us when we thon. You know, she passed away trying to can, trying for this cause, you know, and I think her never making it to THON is a huge reason why we do what we do and she's kind of our motivation, always has been, always will be and she just really gives us that passion when I know that my feet are going to be tired and I'm going to want to sit and I'm going to be in a million different places, I'm obviously going to think of her and this is why we dance and I'm just looking forward to that.